Hey everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Total Query Search ChatGPT plugin that you can use to get search engine information, not just from Google, but from 70 plus search engines across the internet. So if you want to compare search results or you want to leverage not just Google and Bing search, but other search engines, you can use this plugin. So on my website, I have a full tutorial on this Total Query Search ChatGPT plugin in that I also talk about some of the use cases and I also share some of the best prompts you can use this plugin with. If you are interested in this detailed tutorial, make sure to check out the link in the description below. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. But now let's see an example on how to use the Total Query Search ChatGPT plugin. So before you would be able to install the plugin, you also have to make sure that you have enabled plugins in your ChatGPT account. And to be able to enable plugins, you have to have a ChatGPT Plus subscription. If you don't know how to do this, I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel that you can check out. And once plugins are enabled, you have to select or click on new chat on the top left here. Then make sure that GPT-4 is selected from the model selector and then make sure that plugins are selected here. Then we have to install the Total Query Search ChatGPT plugin. I've already done that, so this is the installed plugin list for me. But if it's not installed for you, you have to click on Plugin Store and install the plugin by searching for the plugin name and clicking Install. And last but not least, once the plugin is installed, you also have to enable the Total Query Search ChatGPT plugin, and you can enable any plugin by clicking the checkbox next to the name of the plugin. All right, so once the plugin is enabled, all we have to do is add the prompt, so we can activate the plugin and scrape search engine data. So in this example, I'm gonna use a really simple prompt for demonstration. So all I had to add is search for the best cryptocurrency exchange query on the web using three different search engines. So you can of course specify the search engines you want to use, but in this example, I'm just uh, telling the Total Query Search GPT plugin to use the three different search engines. And then you have to click on send message here. So as you can see, you don't have to use any kind of function. If you are using natural language and uh, you have enabled the Total Query Search ChatGPT plugin, ChatGPT will know that it has to activate and use this plugin. And as you can see here, this is what it has done. So as you can see, it has inputted the best cryptocurrency exchange search query to the plugin. And it has selected three search engines, so Google, Bing, and DuckDuckGo. And it has scraped the search results from these search engines for this search query. As you can see, it's a ton of content. You wouldn't be able to even add to ChatGPT without this plugin. And now, as you can see here, it has, using the search engine information, it has come up with the top three recommendations from each search engine. So based on Google search, Binance and Coinbase and Kraken are the best cryptocurrency exchanges. Based on Bing search results, it's eToro, Gemini and Bitstamp. And DuckDuckGo also recommend some other three cryptocurrency exchanges. So all in all, this is how you can use this Total Query Search ChatGPT plugin to get and scrape information from various search engines, not just Google and Bing. And if you want to learn more about other ChatGPT plugins, I have a ton of video tutorials on my YouTube channel and more are coming up, so make sure to check them out. And also, if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions, and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.